pour moi, quand je raconte à des gens, c'est facile de revenir au, à ses bons moments où tu essaies de penser. C'est facile de s'embarquer dans, dans ses souvenirs, dans ses moments à lui, mais ça serait le fun dans 15 ans que les gens, l'équipe qu'on est ici, puis les joueurs, on ait des souvenirs, des moments où que les gens peuvent regarder dans, dans, dans le passé et voir qu'on a gagné ici. So Nathan McKinnon has been drafted first and overall. Now the Halifax Mooseheads have traded up from the fourth to second overall pick. Drummer has been sent down to the minors who will not start the season with the Halifax Mooseheads. He has been called back up. Been a disappointment. It's the only word to describe my thoughts. Drew has unbelievable season continues. Watch him cut across the line. This kid is amazing. He's everything that they say he is. They score! Jonathan Drew! Jonathan Drew! He has jammed it over top of Louis Domingue, and the Halifax Mooseheads pour off the bench to celebrate. Allez, Ronan, c'est trop loin. Coupe dans la sans tir. Quel but de Jonathan Drouin. C'est trois en Halifax. Wow. Jonathan Drouin with a highlight real goal. I mean, this guy's got unbelievable skill, amazing vision. Jonathan Drouin with a backhand. Il voulait pas s'amener avant le temps des fêtes du Midget 3. Il est là. Il met un nom. Sur la feuille de pointage, Jonathan Drouin, quel but partie supérieure! Select with our first pick from the Halifax Mooseheads, Nathan McKinnon. From Tampira, Finland, Alexander Barkov. All right, so Steve Eiserman of the Tampa Bay Lightning have the third overall pick of this draft, and Eiserman on the phone. Does Jones drop further? Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Jones goes to four here. I mean, Steve Eiserman is a huge Jonathan Drouin fan. With the third pick, Tampa selects from Halifax, Jonathan Drouin. If you want to see offensive hockey, just watch Tampa Bay next year. I gotta believe this young man's gonna make their team. He's a human highlight, really, really is, right? He had an awesome training camp. Personally, do you fully really expect to make this team this year? The number three pick in the draft took his first strides this weekend in an NHL jersey. And I just wanna, just wanna make the team uh, this year and obviously just do my best for that. Jonathan just getting sent back from, from Tampa. And really, it's not gonna ruin all of my middle year junior. Well, obviously, it's, at the moment, it was kind of hard. Right. Obviously, you want, you want to be up there. Right now. It's not the end of the world to go back yeah. to junior. And just think of how much better he'll be with one year more experience. It's part of, it's part of hockey and it's part of business, so. He hasn't really lived up to it. It's Calder Memorial Trophy. Nathan McKinnon, Jonathan Drouin back with the Tampa Bay Lightning now. He scores! He fires it off the goaltender for his first goal in the National Hockey League. Shot! Score! A two-point night so far for Jonathan Drouin. It's, uh, it's refreshing to not be complaining about Jonathan Drouin on this show. This is all Jonathan Drouin. What a brilliant move. No ice time, low ice time, low ice time. Finally, all right, I want to trade. Apparently the world doesn't work like Jonathan Druin thought it. Who was a star in junior, absolutely felt that he was deserving of more of an opportunity. And what a dirty, hot mess the Jonathan Druin saga has become. I'm not sure that Druin ever reaches the level he was supposed to when he was drafted. The coach and the organization don't believe he's ready for frontline duty. I think if you ask every single player in that locker room, at some point they've been frustrated by their situation and they persevered through it. 
they are jumping over the moon right now in Montreal. The Colts pretty forward. Jonathan but now, he's the guy in Montreal. So now Montreal's offense. L'an oui. dernier, Marc Bergevin a complété une transaction qui avait divisé les partisans du Canadien. Il en fait une aujourd'hui qui fait l'unanimité. Probablement la première grande vedette francophone à Montréal depuis très longtemps. Il faut qu'il réalise que les projecteurs sont braqués sur lui.